called Dance in the Kitchen, but likely not quite like this. As we continue this Women's History Month, Ballet Collaboratory is presenting a story that honors the creativity and resilience of women through their relationships to the kitchen. Kitchen Dancing, it's called, is a story about women's power of choice and agency over their own lives. It looks really beautiful. Joining us now is Zoe Henro, Artistic Director and Founder of Ballet Co Laboratory. Welcome, thanks for Thank joining you. us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, first of all, let's start with a little bit about the company itself, because yeah. you started just before the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your history and, and getting the, the ballet company started. You're based in St. Paul. Yeah, we're based in St. Paul. I founded the company with other artists in 2018, and um, we are right outside of downtown St. Paul. We're a professional ballet company as well as a school. Um, so our professionals, they're dancing Monday through Friday. This is their job. Um, and our mission is really to bring new narratives to the ballet stage and narratives that other people can see themselves in the art form and hopefully participate and come to classes at the school. Yeah, and you have lots of different performances, um, you know, different um, talents that you, that you feature, different stories. This yeah. one was really interesting to me. It's a collaboration. So tell us about more about Kitchen Dances. Yeah, so Kitchen Dances is based on a collaboration with the Frankfurt Kitchen itself. So the Frankfurt Kitchen was designed in 1926 by a female architect, which was rare at the time. And the entire premise is creating a kitchen that was so efficient for women at that time so that they could pursue something else outside of the home if they so wanted to. Um, and I think that, you know, it's almost like the first evolution of the kitchen happened with the Frankfurt Kitchen. And we do have a, an actual Frankfurt Kitchen at the Mia. So it felt very nice to pull in local artists, local collaborators um, for this project that was based off of a film originally that I worked on. Yeah, and you worked with the Minneapolis Institute of Art, did, did bringing the kitchen over or how did <laughs> So <laughs> actually, not quite that easy, right? <laughs> we actually rebuilt the kitchen from scratch. So our wow. set designer, um, went in and measured everything for the kitchen and I was able to go in with little gloves and you know all the curator gadgets to make sure I didn't hurt the actual kitchen. Um, so we have resurrected the Frankfurt kitchen and it is on stage with us. It moves, it expands, it contracts um, to help tell all of the different stories. And some of the stories are actually women who have submitted their recipe stories to the Kitchen Dances website and they, um, then actually told their stories for the ballet. Um, so you'll hear some of that as well. Yeah, and we see through the little bit of video that you shared with us, this kind of sneak peek at some of the rehearsals because the yes. actual performances don't start till Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, next weekend. But you can see the caliber of your dancers are just off the charts. They're beautiful. <laughs> what do you hope, though, is the big takeaway um, from somebody who's an audience member who maybe, you know, is a, a trained ballerina themselves or just a yeah. casual, you know, likes to go to the arts? What do you hope is the big takeaway? Well, first of all, I hope that people feel like they can participate in ballet. That's like the number one goal of Ballet Collaboratory. We really want, whether it's an audience member or as a student, um, as an adult student, um, we want everyone to feel that they have a place in the ballet studio and within the ballet stage. And with this performance, I think that it's particularly timely because I think during the last couple of years, the kitchen has become a very different space for people in their homes, um, where it might have before been a space of that duty, responsibility, need to get the you know, dinner on the table, need to finish all of this. Suddenly, it also became a space where we worked on our computers, where we Zoomed with folks, also maybe where we tried baking, you know, making bread, um, experimenting. So I think that the kitchen has also evolved even in the last three years. Um, of course, it's evolved since 1926 <laughs> when the kitchen was developed. Um, but I think that audiences will just really enjoy seeing how the kitchen environment can be transformed depending on whose story you're listening to. Yeah, truly the center of the household, yes. kind of no matter what <laughs> decade you're talking about. And not just for women, folks. I'll throw that out there. Correct. All right, Zoe, thank you so much. If people want to uh, go see Kitchen Dances, you can just go to your website yes. at balletcolaboratory.org. So thank you. Thank you for Good having me. Good luck with the show. <laughs>